Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube NFL predictions segment. I'm going to be giving my picks and analysis for week nine of the 2019 NFL season. Now, the first game, I'm going to take uh, the, the 49ers down the road against the Arizona Cardinals. Of course, uh, San Francisco unblemished, uh, flawless 7 and 0 right now. They're 11, allowing just 11 points per game. Uh, right now, uh, they also, I mean, they're, they're number one in passing yards allowed per game. And their team, 16 takeaways, the defense has been phenomenal. You look at Arizona, they're showing signs of marked improvement, but they're just number 30, time of possession. I'm um, sure 49 is much better than that <laughs> right now. Um, but the Arizona Cardinals are averaging 24 points in the last four games. They had a bad game last week, but they played very well the previous three weeks. They're going to be at home. 49ers are on a short uh, week on the road. So it's, it's advantageous to Arizona to a certain degree, but they just can't. I don't think the um, the offense, I mean, versus the Arizona offense against the 49ers defense, 49ers defense, I believe, prevails big time. And the Cardinals are averaging about 28 points as far as is what they allow per game. I'm going to take, I like the 49ers on the road. Next game, I'm going to take the Houston Texans um, on the road uh, in it to win in Jacksonville. Should be very tight, a highly contested battle. Houston number two right now, and they're as far as their, I mean, you no know, total offense right now, I believe. They're also right now. Um, as far as Deshaun Watson goes, I mean, you know that John Groom was given high praise uh, last week saying he's superseding his role and he's comparing it to like Michael Jordan qualities there right now. At this time, you have to look at Houston as really definitely a team to be reckoned with. You look at uh, Jacksonville right now, they've won two straight games, number nine in total offense, and they have, they are number 20, they have 29 defensive sacks, and they do have running back Leonard Fournette. The running games on these teams are both good, but I think looking at uh, Houston, the way they're, they've been playing, they've just been playing a little bit better than Jacksonville right now. I think I trust Houston and Deshaun Watson and his legs a little bit more than I trust the Jaguars. So I'm going to take the Texans to win on the road. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills at home to defeat the Washington Redskins. I think the Bills uh, will show some resiliency and get and bounce back from a dreadful um, week eight performance. They're allowing 17.4 points per game. The defense had played pretty well up until last week. Uh, the Eagles just plastered them. But the Bills are still just number three in passing yards allowed per game. Their third down defense is solid. Washington just can't generate anything. They can't generate any offense or anything else, hardly for that matter. They've lost eight of their last nine games. Washington's dead last time of possession, best of my knowledge, are also only scoring nine points over the last two games. The offense has looked anemic to say the least. So I'm going to take Buffalo to get this one done at home. The next game, I want to take the Kansas City Chiefs to prevail at home over the Minnesota Vikings, though reluctantly. See, the Kansas City Chiefs have lost three consecutive uh, home games, but Minnesota has won four consecutive. A lot of things point to Minnesota winning, given that they've been playing better in recent weeks. But Minnesota, um, they haven't won a game against a team with a winning record. In Kansas City, it's inevitable that they do win a home game. I think Travis Kelsey might present some matchup problems for the secondary. Minnesota. Minnesota with Stefan Diggs and their running back and Kirk Cousins and company will make this very close. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if they win this one, but I'm going to take Kansas City to get this done uh, at home. So anyway, well, the next game in the toilet bowl of the week, uh, where you have one win combined between these two teams. I'm going to take the Jets reluctantly on the road against Miami. I mean, these teams are like in the bottom three and four in so many categories. It's not even funny. Uh, my Jets, uh, you know, they're just fortunate to get one win this season. But the Jets are just 2-9 and nine on the road since 2018. Their dead less total offense are averaging 11.1 points per game. Miami is averaging 11 points per game. Miami has lost nine consecutive games, I believe, dating back to last season. And they're also, I mean, these two teams have a hard, such a hard time scoring. Maybe they'll be able to get something done in this uh, game. Miami actually scored 14 points last week, which was miraculous.
miraculous for them. But I think the Jets are at least trying to win some games. I don't know if Miami's really trying that hard or not, if they're just trying to impersonate a team attempting to win football games. They're minus 161 in point differential right now. And uh, right now, I just think the Jets have a little, little bit, just a slightly better you know, team than Miami, but it's really not much difference. The Jets just have one win versus Miami, zero wins. Um, this game could go either way, but I'm going to take the Jets on the road. Well, the next game, I'm going to take the Eagles to win at home over the Chicago Bears. The Eagles right now, they're starting to trend a little bit upward. I think they're starting to hit their stride right now. I had a very good game on the road against the Bills last week, putting up 31 points, and they rushed for 218 yards, and uh, they basically eviscerated the Bills' defense. Um, in the run defense especially. They had 371 total yards last week. Uh, you could put up 31 points against the Bills on the road. They should be able to get like 25 in this one at home against the Bears. Bears have lost three consecutive games. They are number 29 in passing yards per game. They can't, and their kicking game is very suspect to say the least. I just don't think um, the kicking game could be trusted in this one, especially if it's going to be a tight game. Um, and that could very well be the difference, but I just don't think Chicago is going to be able to generate the offense to match Philadelphia uh, in this one. Philadelphia did get Chicago in the playoff game last season. Chicago will be seeking retribution, but it won't matter. I like the Eagles at home. Now, the next game, I want to take the Colts on the road to beat the Steelers. Now, um, the Indianapolis Colts have won 9 of 11 dating back to 2018. 6-5 on the road since 2018. I do like the running game. I like what their quarterback is doing. And you look at um, Indianapolis is one of the better teams in the AFC right now. I believe Pittsburgh Steelers. Despite uh, the, you know their struggles early on, they've actually bounced back and showed resiliency. The running back Connor is status is questionable. Pittsburgh has been competitive in all but one game this season, but given that the way the Colts are playing, coupled with the fact that the running back Connor status is questionable, even if he comes back, may not be a hundred percent. I just like what Indy is going. I believe can do on the running game against defense of the Steelers, and I'm going to take. The Colts to win this one on the road. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Carolina Panthers at home over the Tennessee Titans. Carolina, I mean, they just basically laid an egg last week. I think that was an aberration. Uh, running back McCaffrey uh, is going. Christian McCaffrey is going to make a big difference, I think, in this game. Um, you look at, and also I think looking at the. Um, the defensive front, um, front four, I mean, whatever it is against uh, the Titans, they're good. The pass rush, I think, could be the difference in this game. The Titans have allowed like 31 sacks a season. Carolina has 30 defensive sacks. They're one of the better pass rushing teams in the league. Now, don't get me wrong, Ryan Tannehill, the quarterback for the Titans, has revived and rejuvenated this offense. They might make this game somewhat competitive, but Carolina being at home, given their defensive front and their running game, the fact that they could actually, I mean, their offense is better than the Titans. The Carolina's average about 26 points per game this season, and the Titans have averaged 18 and a half. I know the offense is a little bit better with Ryan Tannehill, but I don't think it's going to be enough to match Carolina's points, and I like, I like Carolina to win at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Oakland Raiders at home to defeat the Detroit Lions. Oakland right now, I mean, this is a very, this is a, one of those uh, coin flip games. I understand Detroit may have the better quarterback with Matt Stafford, but uh, Derek Carr is no slouch at this point. Oakland has five takeaway, I mean, takeaways a season, not very much, but they are two and one at home. Detroit has also won the last four matchups against the Raiders. I think Oakland is getting tired of that. They're going to be at home in this game. Um, and Oakland actually is in the middle of the pack in passing yards per game. And Detroit is dead last in passing yards allowed. I think that's going to be a big uh, difference uh, in this particular game. So for me, I'm going to go uh, with Oakland to get this one done uh, on the at home, but it should be tight because Detroit's offense is solid. They're averaging about 26 points per game, but I think Oakland is going to figure out 
a way to get this done uh, at home. Oakland's an improved team. They should have beaten Houston last week. They didn't get it done. I think they could beat Detroit at home. So I'm going to take the Raiders to win at home. Hold on a moment, people. Well, the next game, I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks to win at home over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Seattle, right now, I mean, this is a game for them. I mean, that they really should win. They're 8-4 at home uh, since 2018. Definitely still a very formidable home team. And they're also number nine in rushing yards uh, per game. Russell Wilson has played a phenomenal this football this season. Only one interception for the Seahawks this season as far as interceptions thrown. Um, you look at Tampa Bay, and they, I mean, they're, they're just, I mean, what well, can you see? Really not much you can say about them. They've lost three consecutive games. Um, the one thing people can boast about for them, I mean, Tampa Bay can boast about their number one in rushing yards allowed per game, but they're still getting up a chunk of yardage as, as far as average rushing yards allowed per carry yards per, as far as the defense goes. See, it's a little deceptive. This is mainly because that teams know that they can pass on uh, on the Bucks, so they're not running the ball frequently against the Bucks, but the Bucks are still allowing a lot of yards per carry to the um, to the opponents of running back so it's really the, the running game is still not very good and they've thrown 12 interceptions I think Tampa Bay just has a little more propensity to turn the ball over that's going to be a big difference in this game uh, so I'm going to take Seattle to get this done at home next game I'm going to take the Denver Broncos to win at home over the Cleveland Browns Denver right now um, the, 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 their pass rush seems to be improving as the weeks progress. They've also, um, although they have um, allowed 29 sacks this season, just uh, not many passing uh, TDs, but Cleveland right now is really, and they've lost three consecutive games. They've certainly underachieved, and Cleveland is just 4-8 and eight on the road since 2000. Uh, 18. Denver has not really looked great, but they did play a very good game against the Colts last week. Did everything but beat them. Uh, it took like a last minute field goal or something for, for the Colts to come out and emerge victorious against the Broncos. Um, last week i think the broncos can bounce back and get this done against cleveland at home so i'm going to take the uh, broncos to win at home well next game I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers on the road to defeat the Chargers. The Green Bay actually is a very stellar road team this season. They're 3-0 on the road. They're plus 7 turnover differential, and they have 14 takeaways. And Aaron Rodgers, again, is playing lights out. Definitely a viable MVP candidate. If you look at the Chargers right now. They fired um, their offensive coordinator. Uh, they also, I mean... They're a little bit in disarray now. I know they won last week against the, the Chicago Bears, but the, the, Chicago, the LA Chargers, two of their three wins, one against the Bears, one against the Dolphins. I just don't think they have the personnel to get to defeat Green Bay in this one. And Chargers have a difficult time running the ball. They're number 28 in rushing yards per game. I think Green Bay can make uh, the Chargers one-dimensional in this one, and I believe that could be play a role uh, in terms of Green Bay winning. Uh, so I'd like Green Bay to get this done on the road. Now the next game, uh, this is the definitely the marquee game of the week. The, um, I want to take the Patriots on the road against the Baltimore Ravens. Now New England right now, number one, defense in the NFL. I mean, they're allowing 7.6 points per game, 31 defensive sacks, and they also have 19 defensive interceptions, by far the best in the NFL, plus 17 turnover differential, and they're averaging 31 points per game. Baltimore, the ravenous defense may not be there, but they are still a solid team, number one in time of possession, and they're also one of the better uh, scoring offenses in the NFL, 30.6 points per game. These teams are almost dead even in scoring offense, 
and the Ravens are on number one in rushing yards per game. They've won three consecutive games. This is a team that definitely has the proponents of it to perhaps beat New England, but I think right now New England with their defense is going to be a little bit better than Baltimore's D, and I think that's going to be a big difference in disparity in this game, and it will help propel the Patriots to win, I believe. So I'm going to take the Patriots to win on the road. Last but not least, I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys to win. On the road against my New York Giants now, the Dallas Cowboys have dominated this series in recent time. They've defeated the Giants five consecutive games. The Giants have lost four straight games, and again, they have lost five consecutive to Dallas. Giants are 19 giveaways this season. That's dead last in the NFL, or I should say it's, it's number one in terms of the most giveaways by an NFL team. And... Um, and, the, and see the Giants, I think what's going to happen is the Dallas uh, passing game, they're going to have a field day against the Giants because the Giants are number 28 in the NFL in passing yards allowed uh, per game. Ezekiel Elliott is, I um, mean, you have a team in the running game, the, the Cowboys are number four in rushing yards uh, per game and number three in passing yards per game. I think in, um, you're going to look at this, uh, looking at this game, I, I see the the Dallas Cowboys have a number of protracted, sustained drives against the Giants. It's going to be, it's going to play huge in this particular game, and the Giants just can't. They just don't have the, the defense to really even contain the, the Cowboys, I don't think. And it's going to be a long game, I think, for, for the G-men. The G-men, but the only thing advantageous to them is that this game is at home. And they might be a little bit fired up given it's a divisional game. And if Daniel Jones can actually be consistent and play well, they have a chance. But I just don't see it happening. I think the Cowboys are just right now, uh, they're, they're definitely, from a personal standpoint, definitely much better than the Giants so I'm going to take the Cowboys on the road anyway people that will conclude this YouTube NFL prediction segment and until next time people Edward Learns saying stay well